All right, y'all, let's talk about this today. Let's talk about truck drivers fighting like crazy not to get paid. <laughs> Man, y'all, let's talk about this. This is crazy. Let's go. Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? Thank you for tuning in. This is B2 Speaks. I am Walter. Y'all, let's quickly dive into this. If you haven't been living under a rock, you've known that for the past few months, you've probably heard about some type of bill that's floating around Congress right now that is aimed to pay truck drivers for all of their time that they work, including being paid overtime pay. There's already plenty of different driving jobs out there in different aspects of the industry who already pay hourly, who always are paid hourly, and therefore, in return, most of them, not all of them, but most of them have pretty low turnover rates because the drivers are getting paid. They're not sitting for hours and not being paid for it. They're not spending any time on duty that they're not being compensated for. So in return, they don't quit. They stay there and they work until they retire or maybe they might find a job that pays them a few dollars more or a couple of cents more an hour. I mean, but for the most part, they stay. But the turnover rate when it comes to the over the road trucking companies, especially the mega carriers, is mainly because of pay. These companies do not pay you for about 70% or more of the time that you spend doing the work pertaining to your job. About 70% of that time you're not being paid for. And yet they've managed to convince a whole lot of you guys out there that, well, if you switch over to hourly pay, you're going to make less money. And then some of you morons jump in the comments of videos of people who have already spoken about this topic and start trashing people because they want to be paid for every hour that they work and everything that they do that you jump in and you try to convince people that, hey, you get, you're you dumb for wanting to get paid for all your time. Who in trucking wants to get paid for all their time? I want more miles. I drive further. I spend more time driving miles, so therefore my miles pay me more. I've heard all of the dumb, stupid crap. I've heard it all. Look, there's a reason why you are paid by the mile. And it's the reason why the trucking companies, albeit that the rules that have been established by law that allows companies to get away with paying truck drivers by the mile and working them 50, 60, 70 hours a week and not having to pay a dime of overtime pay, not having to pay them hourly so they're compensated properly for every hour that they spend operating that truck, doing other things pertaining to their job is a reason why it's a reason why they don't want to pay you for it because it'll cost them more money because they don't pay you anything compared to what they should pay you if you're paid hourly and overtime i think of it like the government nothing that the government does is to help you I think it was Ronald Reagan who once said it a long time ago. Hey, if the government shows up and says, hey, I'm here to help, you better get nervous or you better take off running. <laughs> the government does nothing to help you. The government don't create medication to help you. The government don't take your money and, well, steal your money in taxes to help you. They don't do any of this crap to help you. It's to benefit them. The same can be said about most of these trucking companies. Them not paying you by the hour is not to help you because you get paid more doing mileage pay, but it's to keep them from pocketing less money and putting more money in your pocket. Now, look, I get it. I'm still trying to figure out the math with how the route that I'm on right now, let's say if I got paid by the hour, I would have to get paid a whole lot of money to make what I make right now hourly. 
But that's because I'm on some weird dedicated account to where I work one day. Uh, technically, I don't work the next day or so forth. But it's very rare that people ride like that and drive like that as truck drivers. Very rare. I want you guys to think about this. No other area in the country, no other job field in the country, think about this, don't have to pay their workers overtime if they are a non-management employee. They must be paid and compensated for the hours that they work and if they work hours over 40, overtime. Almost every industry within the country almost every one of them you're required by law to be paid for the time that you spend working and overtime pay if you're over 40 hours it's just crazy to me how these guys mostly truck drivers too now it's truck drivers fighting this it's truck drivers fighting not to get paid and when you say something about it they fight against you it's just absolutely crazy it's mind-blowing it is what it is so i'll keep my eye on what's going on in congress uh i haven't been able to find much about the bill i've found the bill but i haven't read much into it outside of that it's requiring that drivers be paid overtime pay that's the highlight of the bill so we'll see what happens with it man y'all enjoy your saturday and remember don't be offended that's just our b2 speaks i'm walter and i'll see you on the next one